This is Robert over Capital Retail. If there's a percentage rent clause in a commercial lease, there will either be a natural or artificial break point. We're going to go over how to calculate that today. With an artificial break point, there's no variable. The percentage of sales and the overage are predetermined. They've already been agreed between the tenant and the landlord. For this artificial breakpoint example, 5% of sales above a million dollars is what's been predetermined and agreed upon. So the overage here is $200,500. We're going we're gonna to times that by 5%. The additional annual rent due is $10,025. This is typically done on an annualized basis, and the tenant's usually paying this on top of the monthly base rent. With the natural break point, the sales is the key variable to determine the natural break point and the amount that's owed. In this example, the natural break point is 1.2 million. That's simply taking the annual rent, dividing it by the sales, $1.2 million, $500. And there you have it, 5% of the natural break point, 1.2 million. The overage is $500, and therefore the only additional rent is $25. Some key percentage rent takeaways. The percentage rent is often based on the annual sales. The percentage rent is often in addition to base rent. However, during COVID, many landlords are offering a percentage of sales or triple nets, whichever is greater. Capital Retail Group. We're urban, we're connected, and interactive. Check us out on the web, capitalretail.com.